Molweni Nonke, Namkele Kile, Eklaseni Yanam Shlange. Hey everyone, welcome to the cl today's class. In this class, uh, in this practice video, shall I say, we're going to go over a few uh, new verbs and um, expressions. We have the first verb which is uku za. So za, to come. We had uku ya to go somewhere and ukuza to come both monosyllabic verbs so there's a special class of verbs in Kosa because they only have one syllable makes it trickier to use um, because you have to add something if you want to use it as an imperative you want to say come you can't just say za as you could with other verbs you could say hamba go or um, teta speak but for a monosyllabic verb like ukuza need to add something so we say yiza you add this yi in front of it yiza um, there's a reason for this uh, a linguistic reason there's actually this latent i before za so the root of the verb linguistically is actually iza it is actually two has actually got two syllables anyway that doesn't need to interest us um, basically Common expressions would be ndieza, I am coming. Now, instead of the long form being ndiaza, if we know this original form of za is actually iza, and we know the sound rule, the sound change rule, ya plus e becomes ye. So ndieza, that's how you get to the the uh, long form conjugation of, of this verb. Ndieza, I'm coming. Uyeza, you are coming. Um, yizapa, apa is here. Come here. Yizapa, yizapa, come come here a bit. Um, and then we could make sentences like, um, Uzo zanini. He, when will he come? Uzo zanini. And difuna um, ukuza nam. I also want to come. Ndifuna ukuza nam. The next thing I want to go over in this lesson is how to say, let's let's do something. Masi, and then the verb with e at the end instead of a. So we have masi tete, let's speak. Masi funde, let's learn. Masi ambe ngoku, let's go now. Masi egapa, let's go to Cape Town. So ya, masi ye. Another verb, ukucha, like with ukuza, it only has one syllable. Um, cha, you might know from the, the noun food, ukucha, which is the same as saying to eat. Um, so, I am eating ndiacha. Now it's a bit different to ndieza because ukucha does not come from icha, <laughs> it just comes from cha. So, um, for some other reason, that there's no latent I in this monosyllabic na uh, verb. I'm eating ndiacha, uyacha, you are eating, etc. Siacha, we are eating. Ndifuna uku changoku, I want to eat now. It could also mean I want food now. Andichi nyama, I don't eat meat. Andichi, so now the cha in the negative, andichi. Nyama, meat. Um, andichi sonka, I don't eat bread. Uh, another verb from this lesson was ukubiza, which is to call. No, we didn't have ukubiza, we had ukubuza. Ukubuza is to ask. Dinombuzo, <laughs> I have a question. Difuna ukubuza, I want to ask. Ukubuza. Uh, what's maybe even more useful than the verb ukubuza? Is the noun umbuzo the question? So, how we formed that was just by dropping the a uh, at the end of buza and we turn it, turn it into o, which is very common when you take nouns from verbs and then it needs a prefix like every noun in Kosa. So, we have um, umbuzo. I have a question, ndinombuzo. Another really important verb from this lesson which we've actually seen before, is the verb azi. 
it's the root of the verb ukwazi to know so we learned uh, ukwazi as in to be able to but that is actually uku kwazi there's an extra ku in there because it's like saying i know it and that it from the noun class of general things uh, verbs abilities to do things so i know it to speak kosa ndia kwazi ukuteta is kosa i know it how to drive ndia kwazi ukukuba um if you want to just say no it's ukwazi is the infinitive but the root is azi and um, that's why if you say i know it's ndiazi uh, if you say i don't know andazi andazi so it's a special verb but it already ends in e in the uh, in affirmative and in the negative but um, if you you might also hear andiazi i don't know and the difference there is just that you're saying i don't know it andiazi which is just as common as andazi i don't know without this it you might know from spanish no lo sé i don't know it it's it's a common way to say you don't know something andiazi andazi um it's also often used to say uh, you know a language like you know kosa uyasazi isi kosa and now we have this s in between the person and the verb azi because it's this it of the language isi uyasazi isi kosa na do you know kosa ewe ndiyasazi kanini i know it a little bit that was it for today's practice good luck continuing your kosa journey